G'day from Down Under. This week we're going to turn some Australian blackwood. I was sent this bowl blank to me by Pops Shed here in Australia, Melbourne, and they heard that I know that I mentioned them in my last video, and um, they offered to send me a bowl blank, and I said sure. I'm not sponsored by them, but they do have wonderful customer service. So they sent me this. Anyway, it's 190 mil across this way, or seven and a half inches, and 80 mil this way, deep, or about three inches. Um, gonna make this the inside. Sorry, I'm gonna make this the bottom, because it's got this edge here and I can turn this away. Also, it's got this knot here. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Whether that will spring out. So, I'm going to, I'll turn that away by making this the bottom. This beautiful grain running through here. All swirly and swervy around in here. I hope that stays and carries on through to the inside. This will be the inside. I've got a woodworm screw hole drilled there. And... We'll go mount it on the lathe and bring you back. We turn the 900 and I don't know how dusty black wood is so I'm going to have a face mask on, dust mask I mean and of course the face shield. That's all right, very hard, dry. I'm getting a really bad vibration somewhere. I don't know where, maybe I was too low on the tool press. That's what I'm thinking. I adjusted it, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna sand from 80 through to 400. Um, I'll show you a little bit. Then I'll skip the rest. Sand it up to 400 and blew out the grain with the air compressor between each grip just to get the 
dust out of the ground and now I'm just going to use some sanding sealer. Now I apply Yorkshire Group. Nice, especially here. Now for some Yorkshire grit fine, I won't do the whole process again. I'll come back. So I've finished the Yorkshire grit and now I'm going to apply the that was smart New Butte polishes blow five coats of this it's a friction friction polish found out what the vibration was, the piece wasn't hard up against the chuck, uh, against the chuck jaws. Then you buff it in with the part of the cloth that had, it, had the polish on it, uh, this bit. That's after one coat, I'm going to do five. Uh, it's nice. I'll bring you back after I've finished the five coat. Five coats of blow and come up really nice. Green's beautiful, especially here. And you see it there. And here the feathering. Really nice. Anyway, I'll spin it around, put it on the chuck, make sure it's flush this time. The time to hollow out the inside. Got a little bit of tear out just around the edges, the edge here. Just here, somewhere here, there. 
Um, that'll come away because it's only a couple of mil between the inside and that. So I'll just turn that edge away. Sand it up to 400 and while I was turning, I don't know if you can see it, I thought it was a scratch, tool mark, but it looks more like a burn mark. I don't know, so I've tried to get it out and I couldn't. Might be a, I don't know, what, part of the grain, could it be? Possibly. Doubt it. There's no indentation there or anything like that. I tried to sand it away and it won't sand away. Anyway, time for some sanding sealer now. Beautiful wood. While that's drying, I'm going to clean the workshop, so I'll come back. So I sanded the sanding sealer 600 and 800. And now, once again, same as usual, I'm going to apply the Yorkshire grit. It's 
five coats of glow. Brown's beautiful in this one. I think it's lighter on the video than what it is in person. So it's finished. Just got to put my maker's mark on the bottom. Hopefully I'll get it centered this time. Yeah, Tassie Blackwood. Beautiful. I mean, it's really nice. Thanks for watching and see you again. Give us a like if you like the video. Leave us a comment.